this morning I want to give an update about the strong Conservative team we're building to hold the Trudeau Liberals to account. I'm pleased to have them with me here today. First, allow me to introduce our new Deputy Leader, Lisa Raitt. Lisa brings a wealth of experience in the private sector and in public life to our team. She's a proud Cape Bretoner who put down roots in the Greater Toronto Area and has been a strong advocate for her constituents in Milton. During her leadership race, I was struck by Lisa's ability to connect with Canadians. Her personal story really speaks to people and families across the country. And I know she will be a strong voice for a positive conservative approach. J'aimerais aussi souhaiter I would also like to wish a welcome Alain Reyes, our political lieutenant for Quebec. He's a dynamic presence within our caucus and brings his municipal experience to our team. He will be a strong conservative voice for Quebec. I say that Candice Bergen will be continuing as our House Leader. Candice has shown incredible skill leading our team in the House of Commons, and I'm excited to continue working with her in that capacity. Mark Strahl will be our Opposition Whip. Mark has been a strong voice for British Columbia in our caucus, and I'm eager to have him on our leadership team. Chris Workington will remain our Deputy House Leader. Chris is a champion for Albertans and has done an excellent job holding the Liberal government to account in the House. I think it's fair to say that his performance in managing our question period team speaks for itself. Finally, I want to thank Gord Brown for his service as Chief Opposition Whip. When we have such a wealth of talent in our caucus, uh, these decisions are never easy. His wisdom and guidance at a crucial time for our caucus helped us emerge a more united Conservative movement, and I'll be counting on Gord to play an important role for us going forward. I'm incredibly proud to be working with these capable men and women. They're all people of conviction and of principle, and they represent the positive conservative vision we want to share with all Canadians. Our leadership team has roots in every region of Canada, representing big cities and small towns, suburbs, and rural communities. They will be the core of a strong conservative opposition team, which already boasts a proven record of standing up for taxpayers and holding the Trudeau Liberals to account. And our Conservative team has been working hard all summer. These past few weeks, I have gone to every province in, Can in the Atlantic Canada. I visited the Greater Toronto Area, and I spent an, some excellent moments at the Calgary Stampede. Next week, I will be in Robert Ball in Quebec to take part in the 63rd International Crossing of the St. Jean lake, but I will not be swimming. I meet, I am meeting with and listening to families, businesses, and Canadians from all sectors. Wide range of issues. Big deficits, big tax hikes, the Omar Cotter payment payout, and the future of NAFTA. That's why I'm out meeting with people and listening, spending the rest of the summer traveling across our country, talking to Canadians about what Conservatives believe in and the positive alternatives we're offering. Before we take questions, I'd like to give the members of our new team a moment or two to say a few words. So I'll turn it over to them now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andrew. My name is Lisa Raid. I'm the Member of Parliament for Milton, Ontario. Um, you know, Andrew and I got to know each other fairly well during the leadership campaign. And as I indicated during the campaign and afterwards, I have such respect for his demeanor. I fully understand and I embrace what his vision is for the Conservative Party, and I'm looking forward to working with them. My areas of expertise, other than bringing some public sector, private sector experience to the table, is I have great roots in Cape Breton, but my foundation of my life is in Milton, Ontario, and I want to help bring the conservative message to people in Ontario and to Atlantic Canada. And I'm very much looking forward to working with this incredible team, and uh, I'm happy to take any questions that you may have after. Bonjour. Hi, my name is Alain Reyes. I'm the member for Richemont Tabasca, smack in the middle of Quebec. I'm very proud to be here with you today. Thank you, Andrew, for giving me your trust, putting your trust in me, and, and uh, in preparation for the next election campaign, I'm very eager to work with this excellent team in Quebec as well nationally to keep going with the momentum 
that we had in 2015 to make gains and prepare for the next campaign to give the country an opportunity to get rid of the Liberal government of Justin Trudeau. I'm very much looking forward to look, working with our Conservative team across the country and in Quebec. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Candace Bergen, and I'm the Member of Parliament from Portage Lisgar. I'm very pleased and very grateful to be asked by Andrew to continue as House Leader. I think Andrew has put together a very strong team of capable, experienced individuals, and we are going to be able to continue the momentum that we have when the House rose in June. I think we had a very strong finish. We have been holding the Liberals to account. Uh, in the House of Commons, I think we've seen them have to, uh, had to step back on a number of issues. We've seen them have difficulty in question period. So I'm looking forward to that momentum continuing. And also we have a very strong, uh, positive uh, and collegial atmosphere in our caucus. And I see this team that Andrew's brought together having the, uh, the ability to continue that. So for that, I'm grateful and looking forward to the next while. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Strahl, the Member of Parliament for Chilliwack Hope and I'd like to thank Andrew for this opportunity to be part of the leadership team to work with all of our caucus colleagues to hold this Liberal government to account. I do want to thank Andrew for his words uh, uh, for British Columbians right now. We're going through, uh, going through a bit of a tough time and I know that our colleagues on the ground, uh, specifically Todd Doherty and Kathy McLeod, are doing great work for their constituents helping out in those regions. So I'm looking forward to being a BC voice uh, on the leadership team. We know that we have work to do in that province as we work towards 2019, but the more people uh, get to know Andrew, the better they like him. Uh, that's certainly true in British Columbia, and we're going to be working hard uh, to make him the Prime Minister in 2019. My name is Chris Workington. Uh, I serve the people of the Grand Prairie Mackenzie riding in Alberta. It's a privilege for me to be able to continue to serve in this capacity as Deputy House Leader, but also responsible uh, for what happens in question period with uh, with our team. Uh, we have one of the most, uh, one of the strongest and most dynamic teams and, and caucuses in the House of Commons today. I am very proud of the people that I have the, the privilege to serve with and uh, look forward to uh, working with them as we uh, hold the, the Liberals to account, but also bring uh, the voices of Canadians to Parliament. Uh, I think it's important that uh, we continue on our focus and, and Andrew and our team is dedicated to continuing to, uh, to be the voice of taxpayers, to be the, the, the voice of Canadian families here in Parliament. We're going to continue to do that in the fall.